What's up everybody? Charles Fultz here. And today I'm going to show you how to start a fire with a magnifying glass. But first we've got to find stuff to burn. So let's go. A lot of times you can find stuff like this hanging from trees. You know it's dry because it's been hanging there and it has been collecting moisture off the ground. Another good thing to start with is this bark from the cedar tree. Now a lot of times the bark will be a little bit moist. The best thing to do is to put it in the sun to let it dry while you prepare the rest of your fire. Some dried flowers also work well to start fires with. These are called black eyed Susans. If you break the head open, there's tons of little fibers in there, and it works really well to catch fire from the magnifying glass. So let's go try all this stuff out. All right, the next thing you need to do is get some sticks to burn. I don't need to show you how to do that. Just as long as you get several variations of sticks from small to medium to large to even bigger. All right, now once you gather a good amount of sticks and sort them out, you're going to want to take two of the larger sticks that you find and put them in sort of a V shape like this. Almost parallel, but more open in the front than they are in the back. Then you'll take two of the medium sized sticks and place them here and here, just like this, to make sure they don't roll around or anything. And sometimes I like to place a third stick in the middle like this, just in case. And then you'll take the smallest sticks in your pile and stack them like this. Make sure there's plenty of space in between the sticks. got a good amount of sticks of that size down. You take two more of the larger sticks, put them here and here. Make sure they don't roll around or anything. And then you just continue the process. As long as you have the smaller sticks on the bottom rows and the larger sticks on the top rows, it'll work. All right, now you can take the dried flowers and rub them on a rock like this. I found that's probably the best way to get the little fibers exposed. You can do that or, or break them open. I think some of these are being a little bit stubborn, so I'm just going to rip some of them open and then grind them up. And then you can take another rock if you want. Or, I mean, that'll do, but if you want to make sure, take another rock and uh, grind them up. Now what you want to do is take one of your big leaves that you set aside earlier, and then take your bark that you got from the cedar tree and sort of rip it up into shreds. Make it really fibrous as well. And then you mix it with this. I mean, really, you only need you only need one of these, but you know, mixing it together works well too. And then I like to put it in the leaf and sort of wrap it up and fold it, sort of like a really poorly made burrito. And then you have a little pack like that. And then all you got to do is put it in the sun under the magnifying glass and set it on fire. And then once it's once it's caught on fire, you put it under here, and that should catch the rest of it on fire. So uh, let's give it a shot. When you're using a magnifying glass to start fires, it's good to protect your eyes. I've got these antique brazing goggles to protect mine. All right, so you just put your fire pack in the sun somewhere, and you know your magnifying glass over it, and then you want to focus it until it gets really, really bright. And then you see the smoke. It just starts smoking pretty good start blowing on it just very slightly. Short, quick breaths.
don't want to breathe in too much of the smoke. <laughs> Alright, I'm Charles Fultz and that's how to start and prepare a fire with a magnifying glass. Check us out next week. <laughs> <laughs>